Hello everyone, this is Levi Sheridan and this is a Fusion 360 tutorial in which I share my technique for scanning various objects and accurately dimensioning them in order to trace them and create custom cutouts in Fusion 360. So let's get into it. For my demonstration, I'm going to be using the scanning documents feature in the Apple Notes app. However, if you have an Android, you should also just be able to take a photo. But what you're going to do is you are going to set your object on top of a piece of graph paper of which you know the distance between the lines. Uh, and then you simply will take a photo from above. Lighting is pretty important because shadows can make it difficult to trace as you may see later in the video. So try to get as well lit of a picture as you can. Uh, for whatever circumstance you are in uh, but once you have the photo you can simply then uh, transfer it from your phone to your computer on which you have Fusion 360 and then proceed with the next steps that I will show you now. At this point you should have your photo transferred from your phone onto your computer so we can go ahead and get started working inside of Fusion 360. The first step is going to be inserting the photo as a canvas into our design so you're going to select canvas and uh, find your image in your computer's directory and then select any plane that you want to import it on. I'm just importing it in the top bottom plane and then I recommend increasing the opacity to 100% to make tracing easier and arbitrarily scaling up the image just so it's easier to calibrate it which is the next step. So what you're going to do is right click on the canvas and select calibrate. This is one fourth inch graph paper so I'm going to select eight tiles which is equivalent to two inches and then calibrate the image like so. So you just select one and then find eight over and enter two. And now the whole image is calibrated. So everything is accurately dimensioned. And now we can go ahead and confidently trace out the object using splines. Uh, I recommend using fit point splines. It just works easier. Uh, but uh, this is where you start to trace it out. I recommend starting uh, in an area with low detail uh, just for ease of tracing and basically just take it slow get the closer you get in and the more points you add the more detail and accurate your uh, curve will be uh, i recommend adding more detail in the corners or high detail areas so add more points in those areas and this does require a little bit of finesse sometimes it won't exactly line up the way you want uh, but you're able to just do command z and go back one step and add more points so if you're having trouble with something like you may see here i will go back and start to add more points and then kind of just play around until I figure it out. Um, but yeah, so if you ever have trouble, just take it slow, start adding more points, get up closer. And uh, sometimes it won't look exactly perfect uh, when you're zoomed up super close. Uh, but when you zoom out, in reality, it's maybe off by a fraction of a millimeter, which is really, uh, it's non-trivial uh, when you're talking about 3D printing, you're not getting that kind of resolution as is so just do your best and for 3d printing purposes it will work out fine uh, you'll see a few other little uh, things going on as well like I have trouble maybe deciphering between shadows and that just comes down to taking a better photo this is just a demonstration so obviously when you do it just take a little bit more care uh, and uh, take your time and go through it slowly like I said when you go around corners like this just make sure you add more points than you otherwise would just to capture that detail uh, but just take it slow, uh, take your time, add a lot of points, and eventually you will finish. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit, and you can kind of watch me go through all the way around, and then eventually go back to the starting point, at which, I, which point I will close up the, the curve, and I will see you soon. All right, I am about to close up the curve and connect the final two points. There we go. And now it is complete. Uh, so we can finish the sketch and just kind of take in our hard work. As you can see, I'll get rid of the canvas and that looks pretty good. Uh, it's pretty helpful to have the actual object with you to kind of compare and contrast if you have trouble deciphering the shadows. Uh, but that's pretty good. So other another step that I actually had a little bit of trouble with was creating an offset or scaling the sketch so that I can include tolerances so my first thought was just to scale the sketch 
Uh, as you can see here, this is what happens. So you select all of the points and then pick a point to scale from. Uh, however, this doesn't work. As you can see, when you scale it, it doesn't fit the knife well. So what you actually have to do is create an offset, uh, which is right there. So you select the curve and then you can create an offset distance. Uh, so whatever you wish to take into account for your tolerances for 3D printing, if you have to install something like felt, which is what I did in my last video, I had to do it, take into account the thickness of the felt, but that is what you need to do to do that. And it does work well because it offsets equally from each point as opposed to scaling, which is from a specific point and it does not work. So I'm just going to create a little bit of a case here, as you can see from the knife, uh, just creating a bottom and walls and that's pretty much it. It's really simple. Once you have the curve, you can import it into other designs and kind of take it and do whatever you want with it. And this doesn't only work with knives. You can do this with any other object. If you have some bottles or something or some t kitchen tools, you're able to create custom racks for that or custom trays for maybe something you carry on your nightstand and put away at the end of the day. Uh, whatever you want. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you learned something new and found it interesting. Thank you for watching and have a great day.